Welcome back everybody. Dave, we received a question under one of our videos. Mm -hmm. Somebody was asking me if they still have to mix the fuel in their for their older chainsaws at 32 to 1 like it was like 30, 40 years ago. Right. Well, it's kind of funny you say that. I have a uh, an older Mitsubishi T110 trimmer and it mm -hmm. actually says on the cap, mix 20 to 1. Yeah, that's ins an insane amount of oil. What do you think about that, Dave? Should you still keep doing that now? Well, I mean, I I don't know. I, I guess for me, I would err on the side of caution, but I also know that maybe this is something that we can discuss here because I exactly. pick your brain on that because yeah. I, knew, I know that the quality of oil maybe 40 or 50 years ago when that trimmer or an old chainsaw was made is a lot different than the kind of oil they make and use today. Exactly. Right. And and I guess, I don't know, if if that 20 to 1, is that because the the machine has lesser tolerances or if, if it wasn't machined the same way, like the piston and cylinder doesn't, and so it needs more lubrication? I, I'm not sure. Okay, Dave. So before I continue here, mm -hmm. is the simple answer is you don't have to keep mixing your gas to 25 to 1, 32 to 1, or okay. 20 to 1, okay. if you're using the new two-cycle oil, okay? There's a huge difference between this oil, right. and there's a very old can of oil that I have here sitting in the shop as a showpiece. This one required mixing your gas at 32 to 1, and as you can see here, it's an SAE 40 oil, which is a thick oil. Yeah. But this is basically a four cycle oil, Dave. Okay. Okay, this this is really old. Yeah. I'm gonna guess 30, 40 years. It's a collector's item. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The oil is still in it, and I've actually made a video on this oil before because I had a, quite a few cans. Yeah. And I actually cracked one open in the video. Oh, cool. So I'll put the link to that below this one. Yeah. So what really are the differences between these two oils then, Don? Okay, so this one here, which is the oil that we use now, is basically a two-cycle oil formulated to be used at 50 to 1. Okay. Uh, this oil here, by the way, is made by Castrol. It's a two-stroke oil. Now, you have to remember that today's oils, like you mentioned earlier, are much better than these ones. These ones are specifically designed for two-cycle high-revving engines. Right. As you can see here, and I showed it just earlier here, it's SAE 40. Basically, it's a four cycle oil right. that you can use in your gas. So it dissolves maybe easier than the four stroke oil back Exactly. In the day. So, so basically, you would have to use a lot more of this oil to get the same benefits as this one. And is that because it doesn't, is that just because it doesn't dissolve as well or doesn't mix through? Uh, it'll mix. Really, really well in the gas. Okay. Both of these oils mix really good in the gas because okay. I've actually tried this in the gas before. Right. The only thing is the uh, properties in the oil. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this one is specifically designed for two cycle or uh, two cycle engines. Right. This one is also for two cycle engines, but it could have all also been used in four cycle engines. Uh, okay. So it's just not uh, it's just not designated as a exactly a, a specific oil. The ingredients in this oil are much different than this one. Okay. Um, so basically, that's why you can get away with using less of the new oil nowadays uh, than the old oil. Okay. Because you get the same benefits with less. Right. So I guess, okay, so... And I, Sorry, and sorry, it's yeah. also, this oil here will also be less severe on the environment. Because oh, okay. you're putting less into it in your gas, and it's probably designed for emissions reasons. Absolutely, well. like you know how some golf carts, uh, it'll say on them hundred to one mix if yeah. you have a two cycle engine. Yeah. So again, that's for environmental purposes. Uh, less oil and less and, oil, and you still get enough lubrication. Exactly. Okay, so let me ask you this then: There's um, like on a on saws that I've rebuilt in the past with mm -hmm. aftermarket kits. Yeah. You have always told me to run... Okay, so first of all, you always tell me yeah. to run 45 to 1 yeah. with this stuff. Just extra protection. Yes. And then sometimes you've told me in the past, if I... For example, I had a Husky 50 that I rebuilt. Yeah. And you said, you know, it's an aftermarket kit. The tolerances aren't as awesome as they mm -hmm. are from the factory. Yes. Run at 40 to 1. Absolutely. Is that any... You know, is that just... 
erring on the side of caution? Or? Yeah, it's erring on the side of caution with these aftermarket kits because the quality of the materials, the metals, are not as good as OEM. So right. if you add a bit extra oil right. to those aftermarket kits in your chainsaw, right. it will help them to last longer. Okay. So what do you think about that, Dave? Does that make sense? Oh, it makes total sense. I have a... A Pioneer, well it's not even a Pioneer, it's a Partner 7000 chainsaw. Remember the yeah, one you sold yeah, me there yeah, yeah, for in parts, the box yeah. of parts? Yeah. I'm going to try and rebuild that, but Absolutely. this actually answers a great question because I think the mixture on that one was like 30 to 1 or something was it? like that. I don't remember. I don't remember either, but I recall it not being 50 to 1, so I'll probably still just use your advice and yeah, go, go 45 to 1. 45 anyway. to 1 and I think I'll be yep. safe. Exactly. So anybody watching today, if you have an old saw, weed whacker anything that's two stroke and it says 20 25 32 to 1 mix you don't have to mix it that rich with today's oils if you were using the old oil here yeah definitely you'd have to follow the 32 to 1 so don't worry about it yeah i would just get the good oil here from still or whatever brand you buy 45 to 1 45 to 1 all the time awesome Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe to Dave's channel and mine. Thanks guys. And follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and have a great day. Take care.